Hello my loves, I'm Andrea and welcome to Life As I Know It. Today we have easy fall home decor DIYs. So if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Let's go grab those wreaths, flowers, and let's get to making our home decor. Now, I got this woven wreath from Michael's, and I believe it was between four and six dollars. So it was no more than that. And then the picks I got from the dollar store. And all we're going to do is place them inside of the woven wreath. And what I like about this is that it's so tight in there that you don't have to glue them down. So this way you can take your picks out and use them for something else because you didn't cut them or glue them down. And you can also change out the reef if you decide to put something um, else on the reef. I believe I used about 12 picks, but you decide on how thick um, that you want your reef to be. But this is very simple. You just get it in there. Um, you play with the picks. And like I said, you decide how many, but I used about 12. Now, once you're satisfied with your reef in the fullness of it, you can stop right here because I think this looks great just the way it is and you can hang this up for every season. If you want to put a bow on there, then you can, or if you just want to take a pretty ribbon and loop it through to hang it up that way, it's great. I'm going to make a bow. I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby and um, I always buy the ribbon when it's 50% off. Now, as you can see, I didn't measure out my bow. You can make it as large or as small as you want. Once you're satisfied with how many loops you're going to have in your bow, you just cut it. And then what I'm going to do is take a twisty tie, put it in the middle, and just pull that through. You can use ribbon. You can use wire. And since I didn't make a big bow, I'm going to add my tails to it. So all I'm going to do is get some more ribbon and make the tail. I'm just going to fold the ribbon over to the length that I want my tail to be, and then I'm just going to cut it. And once I cut that, I'm just going to take a little hot glue and tack it to the back of our ribbon. Now I will cut the ends of the twisty tie. Now, if we would have used ribbon, if I would have used ribbon <laughs> this time, I could have just had extra ribbon and tied that to the reef to one of the metal poles. But that's no problem. Like I said, we're just going to cut that off, and then we're going to glue the ribbon to the reef. But first, we're going to um, first tell the ends of our ribbon before we attach it to our reef. And once we have that done, like I said, a little bit of hot glue, and we're just going to attach it to the reef and we're done with this DIY. I got these floral pigs and the pail from the dollar store and I'm going to fill the pail up with the pool noodle. Now, the pool noodle goes a long way. So if you don't want to use the foams that they sell in the dollar store, 
Get yourself a noodles. They come in different colors, and as the seasons change, they change up the color of the pool noodles. And by using this pool noodle and filling it the way it, we did fill it up, we can use these picks again. So when the seasons change, we can just put our picks up for next year and come right back and use them in a different arrangement, or you can just keep them in there. Now, you don't need Spanish moss to fill up the bottom because it's not going to show. But if you want to put it in, you can. But like I said, we're going to cover this up so you won't even see the pool noodle. So start putting your flowers in there and arranging your decor the way you want your flower arrangement to flow. And once we're done with our arrangement, we're going to make a bow. You don't have to put a bow in here. But since we got all this ribbon, we're going to use some of this ribbon. So we're going to make a bow for our flower arrangement. So as we make our bow, you can measure the length if you want to, or you can just freestyle it. So you can make a big bow, as I always say, or a little bow is your bow. Just decide on what size you want it to be. And once you decide it, we're just going to cut it. And you can use ribbon or wiring or a twisty tie to pull your ribbon together. once I cut my ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the ribbon in half and then I'm going to cut a little nip on both sides and that's where I'm going to put the ribbon to pull it together. And once we're satisfied with that, we're going to cut the excess ribbon off and we're just going to start fluffing our bow. We're just going to pull it out one by one and fluff it. And that's why I say it's really good to use the wiring if you're going to use the ribbon from the dollar store because it just helps you to manipulate the ribbon. I'm going to take one of those wooden dollaries and attach it to the back of our bow. We'll just put a little hot glue on it. And then I'm going to take the bow and stick it inside of the flower arrangement, fluff it up a little bit, and then we are done with this DIY. Now for this DIY, we're going to use the acorn 
the leaf in the pumpkin from the dollar store, but we're going to use the ones that have the wooden, that reminds you of a wooden plank. And all we're going to do is find the paper that you like. I got this paper from Hobby Lobby. I believe they were like six six ninety. I'm about to say six ninety. Um, sixty nine cents and seventy nine cents, and they were fifty percent off. So all we're going to do is trace the back of the acorn, and then we're going to cut it out. And once we have our acorn cut out, all we're going to do is get some Mod Podge and we're going to Mod Podge the acorn and we're just going to use a brush and just paint it down, smooth it, and then we're just going to take the shape and put it on top and just smooth it down with our hands. We're going to repeat the same process with the other two items with different paper. We're going to attach all three shapes together with some hot glue. And once we have them attached, we're just going to take some ribbon. You can use twine, you can use thin ribbon or thick. I'm just going to use some of this gold ribbon that I had left over from other projects. And once we have our ribbon attached, I decided I wanted to add a little something else to it. So I'm going to take one of the wooden signs from Crafter Square, the Welcome Fall, and I'm going to add that on to the ribbon with a little hot glue. So some of the glue seeped through and it kind of damaged the M and the O. So what I did was I had a couple little gold roses that I got from dollar zone and i just attached it to the sign to cover up
Now we're gonna take this little pumpkin that we got from the dollar store and what I did was I painted it one time over with some white chalk from Waverly. And now we're just gonna take some Mod Podge and we're gonna put it over the little flower design that's on there. And all we're gonna do is sprinkle our little gold, rose gold glitter all over that area that's Mod Podge. So you can paint the pumpkin afterwards if you don't want it to be white, another color. But I just did it this way. I thought this was something I would try to see how it works out that you can use with children of all ages as long as you don't mind the glitter. So if you're not a glitter fan, I would definitely not do this. And now that I'm looking at it and I'm done, I think if I do this over again or if I get another pumpkin, what I would do is maybe put the Mod Podge in between the little slits and just throw glitter on that. And maybe paint the pumpkin orange or pink and throw some gold glitter on that and see. Because when I look at the pumpkin now, the design or what was in my mind did not come out <laughs> with the way I thought it was going to come out. But since I already recorded this, I wanted you to see how it would look if you did it this way. Here's another idea. Glitter the whole pumpkin without the, the leaves coming down. And leave the leaves another color that's not the color of the glitter. I might try that, but if somebody tries that out there, please send me a picture and let me know how it turns out. Now, since we had the glitter out, we're going to just keep on rocking. So what we're going to do this time is... We're going to take one of the velvet pumpkins from the dollar store. We're going to hit this one on the nail. We're going to put the match pot only where you want the glitter to be. And then we're just going to sprinkle it on here. So like I said, if you don't mind glitter everywhere, this is great for the kids. If not, don't do it if you're not a glitter fan. But I think this one turned out really <laughs> better than the first one and I felt a little bit better because I do not like glitter only because it's all over the place and I know I'm not the only one plus I wear contacts and that was a big thing when my girls were you know when the kids were young you couldn't do things with glitter because I was worried about getting a glitter in my contacts so like I said once we have this spread all over the way we want Go back over, put a little bit of Mod Podge, and we're done with this hack. So we're going to take another one of the Velvet Pumpkins, and we're going to take these little, I'm going to call them roses, from the dollar store, or little suns. And we're just going to take it and start from the top, and we're just going to take it to the bottom. And that's all we're going to do. So I'm going to do five strips of it going down. You can do more in the grooves if you want to or the outer, but I only wanted five. I thought that was good enough and I like the way it looked. I didn't do anything to the stem, but you could always mod podge this, throw some glitter on it, or find some gold paint. I Target used to have that gold paint. Oh my God, the 24 gold, but it's gone. It's gone, so we're gonna have to let it go, Andrea. Let it go, it's gone. So I'll find some gold paint and do the stem. And what I also did was I took another one of the velvet pumpkins and I had gold roses that I got from the dollar zone. And I just did the same thing. I went down with several strips. I think I did six or near. And then what I did was I took one strip and went all the way around. I didn't film that because I thought about it later when I was sitting there put my stuff away. I said, hey, let's grab another one and do it. So I just did it because, you know, sometimes I do stuff off screen because in my head and what comes out is not always the same thing. I like that pumpkin with the glitter. I'm not going <laughs> to go, but that's just it. And you know what? If you don't like the way your DIY turned out, look at it and then go back and see whether or not you can fix it. And if you can't, it's okay. Start from scratch. It's nothing wrong because remember, this is your decor. And this is something that you're going to put in your home, in your bedroom, your office that makes you feel good. And if you're not satisfied with it, you're just going to give it as a gift. Then just start over again and try or just do something else. But I think like Christmas coming up, 
I think I'm going to do a lot of briefs because I want to give those as gifts. I just want to make stuff instead. You know, we always buy stuff like a wreath. You can always put up every year. And I have a coworker, and I will not lie. I think I made her a wreath. I want to say maybe 18 years ago. And up to some point, she was still putting that wreath on her door. So I made some wreaths last year. I made a couple of them because she's about to retire. And I'm just going to give them to her so she can, you know, put on her little summer house. You know, so that's great. Yes, I am blabbing on. But sometimes I feel as though I play a lot of music and I don't talk to you guys. Um, leave me a comment if you want me to talk during the video. If not, if it doesn't bother you. Okay, but definitely leave me a comment and let me know. Not one, how's your day going? And there's anything that you would like me to um, create going into the Christmas holidays. So a lot of stuff that you see that I'm making for Christmas are going to be Christmas gifts. So once we have this done and we're satisfied, we are done with this hack. Well, my loves, that is the end of our easy fall home decor. Which one was your favorite? Are you going to make one of these for your own home or give as a gift? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you're new, welcome aboard. Hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit that notification button, which are all free. The notification button just lets you know when I upload a video. Subscribe means you want to hang out and go on this journey. And like just lets you two know that you like the video so they can suggest it to other people. And it also helps my channel to grow. And like I said, everything is free. If you're returning, welcome back. You are truly appreciated. I'd like to thank everybody for taking time out of their day to spend with me. Have a blessed day. And remember, it costs nothing to be kind. And we will see you in our next video.